In today's video, we'll be taking a look at Joul integration into BTC Pay server. Joul is a web browser extension which provides your graphical interface or a way to interact with your own Lightning node via the browser. You can use Joul to pay your Lightning invoices quickly or just to create them. Since BTC Pay server is one of the easiest way to deploy and have your own Lightning node, you'll be using an internal node inside BTC Pay and we'll be connecting it to Jewel. There are also other ways in which you can have your own Lightning node running and I'll put links to some great resources in the description. Let's now go ahead and download the plugin. Go to lightningjewel.com and click Install for Google Chrome. This will automatically redirect you to GitHub page. Go and find the latest version at the time of recording this video, that's 0.2.1. So go ahead and download this .zip file. When your download is finished, go to Downloads folder and unzip your file. To do that on a Mac specifically, just double click on the .zip folder. Go back to your browser and click Settings. Toggle on the Settings menu here and click Extensions. Then you need to toggle on the Developer mode inside your Google Chrome. Click on that and click Load and Pack from the menu here. Select the folder that you unzipped and click Select. You'll now see that the Jewel is activated. You'll also see the icon here on the right. Let's go to a new tab to make everything look clean and now click on the Jewel icon. Click on the Get Started and you'll be redirected to a new page. Again, you need to click Get Started. To specifically to configure Joule to work with BTC Pay server, you need to choose the remote node. Now go back to your BTC Pay server. Go to Server Settings, then Services. So if you do not see LND here, you're probably running on C Lightning implementation or you maybe haven't even deployed your uh, Lightning node. I'll put the link on how to do that in the description of this video. For now, just click See Information next to LND REST. Now, it's not that visible, but you need to click this link here. The two fields will open with the your REST URI and the macaron. Please understand that I masked URI and macaron especially here, because anyone with access to these can potentially access your Lightning node. So do not share these with anyone. Copy the first field and go back to Joule. Enter your node URL here and click Connect. Now we need to upload our admin macarons. You should not click off any of these two options. You need to click click here to switch at the bottom of the page. Head back to your BTC Pay server and copy the macaron entirely. Copy it in the first field and also in the second. When you do that, click Continue. Now you will see the information about your node here. You'll see a Lightning node alias or the name, the version, if you're running on testnet or mainnet, and the number of channels. Click Confirm. You'll be prompted to enter your own password on few occasions. So there is one workaround if you're a YubiKey user. If you do not know what YubiKey is, I'll put some links in the description, but for now, for those of you who know what YubiKey is and how it works, and if you have one, you can program your YubiKey and put your YubiKey static password here. This way you will not be required to enter a password manually, you can just press your YubiKey and it will write down the password in Joule. However, for those of you who do not have YubiKey, you can just create a password here. When you enter your password, click Continue. If you already used your node, you'll uh, like I have, you'll see the list of your channels, you'll also see the transactions, and we now set up our Jewel with BTC Pay server. From here, you can deposit the amount into your own chain wallet here. You can create an invoice with the middle option here, or you can send transactions and make payments. Let's now go ahead and make our first payment with Joule, just to see how it works. And of course, let's now just add the item to cart and see how Joule works together with BTC Pay. 
Of course, you can make payment to any other store that you prefer, but this is a very quick way. Test at test.com. And let's check out. Proceed to BTC Pay. Wait till BTC Pay generates invoice and choose the Lightning Network. And here is the best part. You do not need to scan anything or copy anything. What you need to do is just click open in a wallet. And that will open your Jewel wallet right away. As you can see now, this is amazing integration and you can now make your payment right away. So let's now go ahead and pay this invoice. You will be prompted to enter the password and this is a little bit tricky. This is why I told you that maybe configuration of YubiKey to create static password will make this whole process uh, a little bit uh, easier. But the password here is for security reasons because Im imagine that someone has the access to your browser and just wants to spend the money from your uh, node. So this is a security thing. Let's go ahead and enter our password and click the lock here and the invoice is immediately paid right away from your browser no need for uh, phones no need for copying that into your wallet and that is it for now i'll only show you how to make payments you can of course learn more because the jewel interface is very easy to use and i hope that you enjoy this video and that you find it useful if you have any questions about btc pay integration specifically visit uh, our Slack. And if you have questions or issues with Jewel, go to their GitHub and submit an issue. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.